Right, got my Peugeot Boxer and a few days ago I had a little accident where I reversed into somewhere um, to walk into the edge of the skip and broke my light. So I'm going to replace the light. One of the first things would be taking this panel out on the inside. It's got uh, two, four, six, eight screws and through there we're going to access fixings for that light. I do apologize, I said eight screws, it's actually seven screws. So once that panel is removed, you can reach inside and disconnect this connector, electrical uh, harness connector. So you got a little clip on the top, you push that clip down and pull it towards inside. That's the connector. Now, next step would be we have this screw here, it can be operated by hand. Try to get camera on the top. That's the screw. It usually can be operated by hand. And this one, <laughs> this one can't. And there's another one down there. So I'm just gonna get a spanner and get a spanner on it and we're gonna slacken them off. You can use a socket set or spanners. I just had it in van my toolbox and I had adjustable span on it. So I'm gonna use adjustable. This is the bottom one. Try to that's it. Better. I want to squirt a bit of oil on that before I put it together. And um, when you're doing this, just make sure you don't drop it down down the pillar to the bottom. You can get to it. It can be a bit of pain in the backside. So keep hold of it and pull it out. Because in case if you drop it to the pillar, in case, you will have to get underneath the van. Uh, let me just find out. Uh, underneath the van and there is that hole there behind the bumper that's where it would be so you will have to really go there and try to fish it out but if if you drop don't drop it so now uh, upper one I usually want to change light bulbs and or change the light I never tighten them too high just doing like a strong finger tight. Now that light is fully disconnected. I can go on outside and pull it off. It's just a simple pulling off and there you go. That's the light. So now we got these little screws. We need to undo them to take this back panel with all light bulbs off the light. So we've got these little screws. They are tiny little screws. I actually got the wrong bit. I got the posi. I need Phillips. When you tighten them back into new light, don't go mad with screws because they're only screwing the little screws and they're screwing into plastic. So, you don't have to go mad with them. Really, thing to watch out for when you're replacing this back panel, you get little clips there on the side is to make sure that the gasket, fiber gasket is placed 
correctly that's inside of this groove that goes all the way around in our case because it's fairly young van it's all it's all good so that's a rear light unit it's gonna go into recycling I hope they can recycle that would they say there that can be recycled no Uh, I'll put into re into recycling. They'll they'll know if they can recycle it or not. It says PC plus ABS. Can that be recycled? Well, please let me know. So I'm gonna open up my new light. Right. This is just a, an aftermarket light. I did use them before on our other vans. They've been okay. Actually, once once they're on, um, once they're on the van, you can't see the difference between original genuine one and aftermarket one. Well, I can't tell the difference. And then you can you can just put it next to the genuine one. Let's try to spot the difference. It's got these things here, whatever they're for. There's a little circle here from the uh, blow, uh, blow up tool that makes them. Yeah, these ones got as well. The same pattern on the back. Where we got all these writings here, that's missing on this one. But everything else. Just look see. Obviously we got these little rubber protective thread uh, thread protectors. They'll come off. And then just install this bulb carrier back on. Make sure it Clips all in. You got one clip there and two clips around the side, and then reinstall little screws. Don't go mad with them because that's where they go just into that little bit bit of plastic. You don't want to break that off. As you can see I'm doing this pattern with screws because I want to make sure that all screw holes line up and it's evenly pulled together it's always good good way whenever you're fixing anything to spread the force of the fix fixing screws drop that one in right right I dropped the screw in Found it. Quick inspection, visual, all good. Leave this protective film on until actually we fit it all back it's ready to go back in now just before I put this back together as I said I like to do it hand tight so I'm gonna put a bit of oil onto these screws also on these little fixing nuts oil is good because 
um, repels the water and also stops rust. So fitting procedure is exactly opposite of removal. So first of all, we're going to line up all our holes. Here's a bit of jiggery, jiggery pokery. Yeah, it will go in. Now let's try to line up everything inside. Yeah. Now, whilst it's like that, I'm going to open the door carefully and put them uh, fixings on another side whilst you do that it's always handy with one arm hold the back of the light so when you're putting this on you don't pop the light back out so i'm just going to turn the camera off for a moment now before you fully tighten them to uh, bolts just make sure that light is sitting nicely against the pillar there you got this clip here that needs to sit over same as this bit down here it's very easy to actually have that piece and that piece there sitting against the pillar and light will be slightly crooked once we do that then we can check light from the outside and make sure that all the gaps are satisfactory because you have a bit of movement so it was my light was too much to the right so I just pushed it off to the left to line it up with a pillar and now I can actually tighten up these two bolts on the inside just a couple turns again finger tight it's as good as anything they will not fall out. I mean, I never had had these vans for a long time. All the ones, the oldest one was 2007, one of the first models. We did replace few lights and uh, they never fallen out. Now we got our connector. Again, little catch needs to go on the top. Let me put light on. and align it and just simply push in until you hear that little click and there you go lights on And we got one little visitor fly. And our old light, sadly broken, will go in, to, in the bin. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope it's going to help someone. And um, thumbs up.